Hello everyone, let's start with question number 5 of exercise 1.3. It says show that square of any odd integer is of the form of 4q plus 1 for some integer q. So now in this case, we would be taking a equals bq plus r that is Euclid's division lemma. So in this case, my b is 4 and we know that r lies between 0 and b. So we know that see, R lies between 0 and it is between B that is 4. So R can take 4 values that is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So A equals 4Q plus R but when we have R equals 0 it will be A equals 4Q. Now for any value of Q it will be the number even like 4 into 1 is 4, it is even, 4 into 2 is 8, it is even, 4 into 3 is 12, it is even again. So any number at for any integer you will take as q, it will be even. So therefore this is cancelled out and now we need to take r as 1. So it will be a equals 4q plus 1. Now we need to take the square of the number. So it will be squared. So a square equals 4q plus 1 whole square. Now 4q square can be written as 16q square. Then we have plus 1 square plus 2 into 4q. So it will be 8q. So we can bring 1 to the back. So we are left with 16q square plus 8q plus 1. Now what we can take common is 4 from these two terms. So 4 taken out, 4q square is left at first term and 2q is left plus 1. Now in this case my m will be the bracket form. So it will be 4m plus 1 where m is ready to define m that is 4q square plus 2q. So this is m. And it can be written in the form of 4m plus 1, which is a perfect square. So, this is the condition for perfect square. Now, we need to check at 2 when r equals 2. When r equals 2, a becomes 4q plus 2. Now, from this, if I take 2 out. So we are left with 2q plus 1. Now in this we don't need to uh, square the term. Why? Because it is very clear that the number would be a even number. Why? Because this number is divisible by 2. So therefore this will be a even number. Now moving on when r equals 3. So it will be a equals 4q plus 3. Now we need to square the term. Because from this it, it is not feasible to tell whether it will be even or odd. So 4 cube plus 3 whole square it will give us. Now 4 cube plus 3 whole square can be written as 4 cube square that is 16 cube square plus 3 square that is 9. Plus 2 into 4 cube into 3 which can be written as 24 cube. Now what we will do is, we will uh, write 9 as 8 plus 1 to be, so that it can be written in the form of 4n plus 1. So it is 16q square plus 24q ahead of 9 and plus 8 plus 1. Now what we can take common from this is, is 4 and we are left with 4q square plus 6q plus 2 plus 1. So here the term under the bracket will be m. So it can be written as 4m plus 1 and is a perfect square for some value of m. So we get two values that is 4m plus 1 at r equals to 1 and at r equals to 3. Thank you for watching this video.